the semi arm shack. Okay, you're going to run through an assessment of the length of the pectoralis major and the latissimus dorsi. And what we can do is do the arm elevation test. So just by bringing his arms over his head and just basically holding his arms, and then you can just control the arms coming down, and then you'll notice that, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but this left one is slightly higher than the right one, indicating a tighter pectoralis major tendon here in comparison to his right side. But what you do notice is that the gap between the elbow and the couch has its distance, same on this one, but a little bit less, indicating that the pecs are particularly tight on both sides. The alternative way of doing the test is just do one arm at a time, bring your arm over, please Jack, and then control the arm and just slowly bring it back. And you'll notice by palpation and by passively feeling that you can see that, again, we've got the same distance. It feels tight as we lower the arm down, indicating a pectoralis major external fibres that will be tight. Whilst we're on the subject of the shoulder, I'm going to test the rotators and we are going to look at the rotation of the external. So if I passively take his arm to 90 degrees of elbow flexion and 90 degrees of shoulder abduction and slowly control the external rotation, we are looking for about 90 degrees and then if we're doing the same for internal rotation, we are looking for about 70 degrees. And as I go this way, you'll notice that the humeral head has a tendency to anteriorly rotate, indicating a slight tightness of his infraspinatus. This test will be for the length of the subscapularis, and we can get to 90 degrees quite happily. So his subscapularis, which is the main internal rotator, is okay. And then as we take him into an internal rotation, we look for the length of the infraspinatus, which shows itself to be a little bit tight. Okay, good, stop. Let's just try that.